Good morning. Here's a sweet little video to show you how to use Audacity. The link should be below or I sent it to you in email. So it's a super easy program to use. It looks a little complicated, but it's not. Um, it's a great way to make an MP3 recording, an audio recording. And here you go. All you got to do is push that record button and look, I'm recording. There's all these waves here. You can pause, which is really nice to be able to do if you need to, and then you start again. I recommend if you do pause, leave just a little space in between as you stop and start speaking. There you go. Then we can stop. You can bring the cursor back to here by clicking on it, and then you, you can either push this play button up here or as you do with some other editing programs. You just push spacebar. I recommend if you do pause, and then you can push spacebar. I space recommend bar if again. you do pause. All right, so that's that. Now, Audacity records in. So if you just go up here and and hit save project, um, it records in its own little edit editable files. So what you want to do, you can save it if you think you're going to change it later. But if you think it's done, um, I just click on export. You want to type a name up here. I'll just type test. I'll put it on my desktop so I can erase it afterwards. And then go down here and you can choose lots of different types. Um, so this is a great way to change a type of file too. But we want an mp3 file for many different uses, but specifically to add to your video or to um, upload to Instant Teleseminar. So we just save. And these are good to fill out. This is what shows up in a program like iTunes. So you definitely want to put your name. I use Marsha's name here. Wait. Um, track title, that's just if it, so that would be like the song on an album. So if you have an album which is Star Sister uh, Recordings. Then this would be the date, for example, January New Moon or something like that. And that's enough, but that will show up in somebody, you know, if you listen to this later, if you keep these on your computer, it's really nice to have this when you open an iTunes file, otherwise it just has nothing in there inside iTunes or another program that you might be listening to. So I hit OK. And 24,000 is cool. And then just hit OK. And you have now saved it. Should be right, yeah, it's right here on my desktop. And that should be, I'm just going to click on Get Info. That was a right click to Get Info. Yeah, it's very, very small. And that is really what we need. You need under 10 or 20 megabytes on an audio for many applications. So that's it. All right, great, thanks.